Just a quick thought I'm sharing today. I like doing these mental exercises, visualize things, blowing the picture up, these little, I don't call them tricks, but techniques to try to see things. They're not always perfectly accurate, but they sometimes they help give you a little insight. And on the standpoint of our God, to those who don't think he's an individual, our God is a they, our God is a them, our God is a those people over there. And visualize, when you see your God someday, what's it going to be like? Because you're going to see them. You're not going to see him. Are you going to run to this one or are you going to run to that one? Or maybe one, 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 one. Maybe one of them will step aside and say, no, my son, go to my other son. Or, no, my brother, go to my father, our father. You, you know what I'm saying? You, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm really asking because when you see him, it says you're going to be like him. And so it's got to be one of them you're going to be like. You can't, you can't be like all of them. You're going to be like one. And John didn't specify that. He says that in uh, 1 John 3. When we, we see him as he is, we will be like him. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. That's not a perfect quote. But just wondering, will you have a choice? Which one to run to? Which one to embrace? Or will the other two step out of the room? And then you'll be left alone with the one. And then that one will introduce you to the rest of them. Yeah, I know. It sounds absurd. And you might think I'm trying to be disrespectful. I'm not. I'm really asking you to think about this. Because we're going to see them someday. We're going to see them in that case. In the case that your your God is three people, you're going to see them. I just want you to think about it. How is that going to work? It seems like it would be a uniform way. It doesn't seem to make sense because that goes to the point of idolatry. If you get to pick which one you get to commune with, I'm sure Lonely Ghost will be the Lonely Ghost. Hey, that's a new name. <laughs> he will be the Lonely Ghost, the Lonely Spirit, because no one's going to run to him because they can't even see him. Uh, and, and so they're going to run to the father or the son most people have a preference for one or the other probably most people have a preference for the son so it's going to be the lonely dad and the lonely spirit so you you can't be given that choice because like I say that would be idolatry you're picking which God person you get to worship with, commune with, embrace and rejoice with so there's going to have to be some system set up where and maybe it'll be shoots, kind of like, you know, the cattle. They run you down a chute straight to the one. Or a big room, and they turn out the lights, and uh, and he's up there on the podium or something. I was asking you to think about it. And and really, really seriously, you got to take these things seriously. And maybe, maybe it's already laid out in a catechism somewhere how that's going to go down. I don't know. I've never heard it. I've, I've, I've had people tell me I'm going to go to hell because I, I don't believe in these three people but they never tell me what it's going to be like because when I see my God I think I'm going to be pretty excited and it's probably going to be pretty obvious it's not it's not going to have to be explained to me I don't think it ought to be explained to me that's kind of that's absurd to think that someone has to explain to me you see that one over there no not that one no 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 that one there that one yeah okay go to him I don't think it's going to be like that I really don't but just a thought in Jesus name amen